What's going on guys? My name is Brian from Joker's Wild Deck Review. Today, we got the B Metal Lux, the red one that just came out. And I've been kind of curious to see whoops, what this looks like. United States Playing Card Company, Metal Lux Diamondback Premium Casino Quality. So let's get our trusty hobby knife out. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, come on. These have been for sale as of the recording of this video for probably, I don't know, maybe a month. Ooh, Ooh it's a nice deck. So you do have some embossing here on the front, obviously. The B, the gold, all the gold stuff is embossed. The back, all the diamonds are embossed as well. Really, really cool feeling. So far, I like this deck. Let's just hope it impresses. There we go. Original B Joker and the colored version of the B Joker. See, that's one thing I do like about Bs. They're Ace of Spades, and the artwork that they have is really, really awesome. I, I like that. No beehive right there. Let's see, so it does look like a standard deck so far. Very cool coloring on that jack. Queen and Keen. I love that gold that they put in there. Yeah, see these feel? Hold on, I gotta see this really quick. So you do have some light embossing. I know the my camera doesn't want to focus for anything with this Metal Lux, but every card is embossed on the back. That is really cool. That's why it, it seems rough when you go through the deck. It just seems I don't know. It seems grainy like sandpaper. Let's go through here. And we went through here. We'll hit up the diamond quartz. Very cool with that cut. That coloring is just awesome. I really like that. The gold, it, it kind of has that gold metallic. Um, something like a gold sharpie. That's, that's pretty cool. I really like that. So that's, I mean, all of it's the same. You can kind of see that gold reflection on there, the gold metallic. So it's not, I don't know, it's it's very, I don't know, not controversial, but it's it's a different deck. I'm not, a, this is my first B deck, even in my collection, in all honesty. So it's, it's kind of odd to hold these cards. It feels weird, especially with the, the embossing on the back. It, it, it's really weird. It's a cool deck. Um, I don't think this deck will gain much value. Um, okay, yeah, see with the embossing, everything just chunks up. You're definitely not doing any fans. Oh my gosh. You're not doing any fans with this deck. But let's see here. Let me see if I can get the emboss. Let's see, it's, you can see maybe some of that embossing. I mean, it's a cool deck. I'm glad I got it. Cool deck for my collection. It may be worth some trade value one day. Um, but honestly, guys, that's a weird deck. I don't know. I'm I'm not into it. I think they should have not done embossing on the back of the cards. It makes it very rough. It's, it's very grainy. It's not nice to do anything with. Even, I can see even shuffling over time this deck. Let's see. I can see the embossing maybe coming into play of interrupting or like sketching or I don't know what you want to call it. Let's see how this deck shuffles. Yes, oh my gosh. What the hell? Sorry guys, I know how to do my shuffle but it would not yeah, it's it's rough. It's super rough. Um, there's absolutely nothing smooth about this deck. Um, that's it. I I don't know what to say about this deck. It's different. That's your B number ninety two Metal Lux Red Edition. I guess they are calling it. Let's get here. 
Diamondback Premium Casino Quality. Well, there you guys go. That's it. That's my review. My honest review. My opinion. What do you guys think? Do you guys have this deck? Do you like it? Or are you on the same boat as me? Let me know. See ya.